self-destructive man feels completely alienated, utterly alone. He's an outsider to the human community. He thinks to himself, well, I must be insane. What he fails to realize is that society has, just as he does, a vested interest in considerable losses and catastrophes. These wars, famines, floods, and quakes meet well-defined needs. Man wants chaos. In fact, he's gotta have it. Depression, strife, riots, murder, all this dread. We're irresistibly drawn to that almost orgiastic state created out of death and destruction. It's in all of us. We revel in it. Sure, the media tries to put a sad face on these things, painting them up as great human tragedies. But we all know the function of the media has never been to eliminate the evils of the world. No. Their job is to persuade us to accept those evils and get used to living with them. The powers that be want us to be passive observers. You got a match? You know, Meanie, I've been watching your videos that you've been posting on YouTube. It's starting to make sense to me. It's even in the town that I live in. Meanie, <laughs> I need to have a chat. I think the only way that you and I could actually have an honest, good chat. <laughs> Golfing range. Driving golf balls. <laughs> if you're up for it, you let me know. We need to get this shaking and baking, my friend. Is this kind of stuff?